Hey guys, and welcome back to Dino Crisis 2. When we last left off, we were having a little dip underwater, apparently. Uh, we did find a uh, structural weak point that apparently we have to go blow up with a torpedo launcher. So, let's go do that, shall we? Now... This area was a little bit funky with enemies. Ah, here they come. 600 points for taking these things out. Uh, oh, God. Fuck you, you little prick. Didn't even see him coming. So, yeah, 600 points for taking each one of these guys down. That's not too shabby. And I've been getting tips from you guys as well. Um, mainly... Uh, the Game Guild, which is fantastic. Thank you very much for those tips. Uh, I have read them. Admittedly, oh, I might actually want to use some health because our health is pretty bad at the moment. You'll have to forgive me. I haven't... I actually played this game for about uh, eight days now, I think. Something like that. Should we go buy some med packs? Probably a good idea. Uh, my main recording day should have been yesterday, but... That was my partner's birthday, so that was out of the question. Uh, now, uh, pretty damn good day, actually. Had lots of fun. Probably had too much cake, if I'm being honest. Uh, also, we all decided to ha order Chinese because, you know, why not? But it was a Tuesday. Now, in Truro, all the Chinese takeaways are closed on a Tuesday. That's the one day of the week that they're all shut. So, uh, that was poor planning, I guess. Anywho, let's go waste some dinos and then torpedo something, I guess. Right, okay. Let's be on the quick draw here. So, I'm just tapping the aim button. Just tapping it. As that seems to be the best way to lock onto the dinos. It's not perfect. Not by a huge stretch of the imagination. Ah, fuck's sake. Didn't even see that one. But it sort of works. It would be nice to get out of this underwater area. Yeah, there doesn't appear to be any kind of additional lock-on uh, buttons apart from the main trigger button which is okay but yeah, that's the map yep 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 that doesn't really help you too much because as I from my experience now how do we use the water jet thing how did that work there we go triangle cool um, yeah the the aiming is very very ropey and there isn't really anywhere to dodge to either. And as we have discussed, it's incredibly iffy <laughs> to aim uh, up. But as I have been tipped off, standing still and aiming up apparently is the better way of dealing with that. Uh, now in my experience, it still doesn't really work. But, we shall put that to the test at the very least. Okay. I think the biggest issue here, in this particular area, is you just cannot hear the dinosaurs coming. You cannot hear the enemies coming at you at all. Um, now, they're not exactly obvious as is. Because they're ambient sound effects that they make kind of blend into the background but here you just can't hear them at all whatsoever which you know it makes sense but for a game so heavily based around its combat the combat is absolutely like subpar best at least the controls are anyway. The actual combat itself is a shitload of fun. 
and this game is absolutely better. Look at that. I had no chance there. I literally had no chance. He literally appeared out of the side of the wall there and there was literally nothing I could do to avoid that because you can't move and I keep wanting do you know why I'm pushing the map button my god guys it is just a pert to, uh, a pert a pert yes it's a pert to me why I'm pushing um, the uh, left trigger to, to use my map button um, I'm trying to use the left trigger to jump which is the map button in this game do you know why I'm doing that do you know why I'll tell you why. I've been playing another Dino Crisis game. Yes. Another Dino Crisis game. And no. That was not Dino Crisis uh, 1. It is the... The other Dino Crisis game. Yeah. Yeah, you know the one I'm talking about. And uh, I only actually played the first few minutes of it. That was kind of enough. <laughs> it, it's uh, I uh, it's something. It uh, it's definitely a game. Uh, I'm not sure what sort of oh fuck me. Not sure what sort of game it is, but I certainly wouldn't have said it's Dino Crisis. In fact, if it didn't say Dino Crisis on the box, I wouldn't have probably known to be honest. Now what was, oh god, we've got another one coming in. That's just a, come on, there we go. So, yeah, there you go, Dino Crisis 3 is a thing, and uh, and I've played it. Oh, come on, look, see, I was aiming then, I was tapping the aim button, but she didn't lock on to anything. God damn. Right, okay. Any dinos? Yeah, yeah, we know there's a section that looks weak. That's why we, uh, with a little firepower, a weapon with a little firepower. Ah, yes. We actually have a weapon with a little firepower. I like these things because they're worth a lot of points. Should we try our new weapon, the one that has a little firepower? Yeah, uh, I've noticed that Clock Tower as well had an episode where audio didn't record. I have no idea why that is. I have absolutely no idea why the audio didn't record. It looked fine on uh, OBS. It was capturing fine. Nothing was muted. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, I apologize about that. Right, can we? Is it worth using this? Maybe. We got quite a bit of money from that room. Yeah, this weapon's very slow to aim. Which I'm sure makes sense. It's a power terminal for the small elevator used for construction. Will you turn the power on for the elevator? Yes. Yes, we will. So now we can get... That was back the way we came, wasn't it? Power to the elevator has resumed. Good. Good. That's what we want. Now, wasn't there something over here? There was. I remember things about... Oh, you absolute dick buffer. You absolute and utter dick buffer. I cannot believe we fell down there. In fact, I'll do your one back. Wait a minute. Was that the elevator next door? Wait a minute. That was the elevator literally next to us. Can we just get back on it? <laughs> yeah, suck it down, boy. Will you operate the elevator? Uh, yeah, seems like a pretty wise thing to do. Operating elevators. All right, come on. No, 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 no. There we go. Oh, God, this is so jank. Oh, it's so jank. It works. It does work, but it's jank. 
uh, is a terminal which periodically records data for water temperature, water quality, and other useful data. Well, useful to some, I suppose. Now, what's this? Hey. Yep. Couldn't even aim. Couldn't aim. Oh, God. It's so frustrating. Can we get up, please? There we go. Good thing health is cheap. You got the plug. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we did. I don't know, can't remember what we used the plug for. If I'm being 100% honest. But we got the plug. On his diving suit, Moss has found their home. Aww. Now, what did we want to use that plug for? Let's have a little look at the description of the item. Uh, I guess we can use a med pack too as well. They're ten a penny. Um, now, key items. Let's have a little look. Plug. Plug which is needed for the operation of the cooling aqueduct shutters. Great. Does anyone remember where they were? Because I sure as shit don't. Uh, cooling aqueduct shutters. Well, there's sweet FA there. Uh, maybe in the next room. Maybe that's where it was. Uh, I'm going to keep carrying this torpedo launcher. Because this does seem to be the boy. I'm actually quite excited to see what the... Uh, missile launchers like if this torpedo launcher is this effective now obviously the one thing you have to be wary of is how slow the torpedo launcher probably is now we know one of these bastards creeps out from there come on Or maybe he doesn't creep out of there now. Oh! Oh, God. Creeps up on us then, though, didn't he? At least he tried to. Right, we've got another one coming in up high. Oh, no. Come on, next. Yeah, this... Yeah, that actually is not as effective as I was hoping it to be. In fact, that's really ineffective. Alright, get up. Not, uh, not the biggest fan of this underwater bit. I'm not going to lie. Really? Yep, okay. We were locking onto it, apparently. Apparently. Um, now. So we've got that door there. Was there like a... Uh, you know what we're going to do? Let's switch back to that. Because the torpedo launcher is just too big and slow to be of too much use. Now. They're coming from above, apparently. There we go. Come on. Right, so if it's above you, it looks like Regina will stop aiming at it if we move. So that's worth noting. And even then, she doesn't really aim at it. Is there going to be one coming from that? Oh, right. That just leads us kind of round in full circle. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I thought we were done with those guys. Okay. Come on. Keep tapping the button, because you never know when... Ah, oh, there we go. That was bad. It's almost like these things are trying to kill me or something. Almost. I mean, I'm not being pessimistic or anything, but these things... Certainly like the taste of Regina, that's for sure. 
I guess yeah we could we could go grab that now we have the space for it med pack M sure was this a med pack M as well I think what I don't like about this area is just how slow you are to react. I mean, the controls for this game are already pretty ass. So the fact that she's uh, even slower and uh, less wieldy definitely makes things a little bit trickier. Any more dino? Yep. Yep. Of course there's more. Uh, right, so we can't use that. That's fair enough. Okay. At least we're not a million miles away from where we need to be. Yeah, the dinosaurs don't always seem to spawn in the same area anyway. Quite often, but not always. Now, where does this go? Six grand for that. Nice. We'll have it. Slap that in the pockets. Now, where are we? Right, okay. Oh, this is a save room. Okay. Ah. Interesting. There's no flashing lights on that thing, so... Yeah, if there's a red flashing light on there, that means there's new stuff. I remember that tip. From the Games Guild. Now, let's take a very slow walk down this way. Nothing yet. Oh. It's a shutter to close the waterways. You can hear a low sound of the machines, but it doesn't seem like the machines are stopping. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing that's what we need to open. So where was, where did we need to use the plug? Lock door. Save shop. Okay. So there's nothing here that we can use. Shuts closed. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know, we know. Okay. Let's just keep sneaking our way back here then. So I guess now we've got to go all the way back. So it's not quite as obnoxious as uh, when we had to go back and get that key. And I like the way this thing doesn't actually consume ammo as well, which is always nice. I guess we could recharge our torpedo launcher, but... Eh, not convinced we need to. Oh, tried to, tried to use the jump jets to avoid that then. No dice. Okay, yep. Literally change scene. Only to be mullered there by two enemies. That we couldn't even see. Oof. Yeah. It will be interesting to go... Th oh, God. It will be interesting to go through Dino Crisis 3. Just to see... Oh, fuck. Oh, dude. I thought that was a dead body. Didn't even... Where did that come from? Well, liberal amounts of whatever the fuck this thing shoots seems to do the job. I'm guessing... This thing's firing harpoon bolts. But they are fairly resilient to harpoon bolts. Oh, we're clear. Okay. Not bad, I guess. Not bad. Now. Yep. She didn't even lock onto that one. Just gonna take huge amounts of damage here, I think. Which is fine. It's all fine. Control terminal for the water communication near the third energy reactor. Seems to be working normally. Alright, well, we'll leave that alone then, shall we? Now that time, she locked on. 
What else are we locking onto here? Nothing. Somehow we got a combo out of that. Didn't realize there was two there, but sure. Okay. So I'm guessing there was a control room back here that I'd forgotten about. And we know there's, yeah, I was going to say, there's two of them here. There we go. My god, they're hard to see. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I think we're good. No, we're not good. Why you no lock on? Why do you not lock on to the enemies? God damn. Okay. Yeah, that's going to get irritating. Apparently there's one behind us now. Okay. Okay. Not sure how we got away with that unscathed, but fine. Whatever. Jesus. Hey, no damage. We haven't seen that for a little while, have we? Right, so this is the save room again. So, something up here to fiddle with, perhaps? Ah, right. I remember this. It's control terminal for operating the aqueduct. There we go. Will you operate it? Yes. Oh, yeah, of course. How silly of me. We actually have to manually put the key items in, don't we? For some reason. <laughs> nice bit of animation there. Just plug it in. Right, let's operate it. Now, um, I'm wondering if there's going to be some big, ugly, nasty bastard here that we're going to have to fight. Quite possibly, I guess. Machine cooling aqueducts. The shutters are open. Right, well, why were they shut down in the first place? Perhaps we read a, a note explaining that. Wasn't it something to do with Bob or something? Okay, let's... Uh, game, thank you. Let's... Oh, yeah, we can't sell medium packs, can we? I guess we'll charge that, just in case we do need to fight something big and ugly. But Oh, we can upgrade its ammo capacity as well, but, I mean, how many water areas are there in the game? Uh, I can't imagine there'll be many. Let's take it up to 50. That'll do. Because I honestly can't imagine there being much in here at all. Let's give it a save. Uh, and then... What's our health like? Health's pretty rough. Let's use that medium pack. And then buy two large. I suppose, really, we don't need to buy the large anymore, do we? Because um, the large med packs... Aren't they the same as the mediums? It's just fully cover your health, but won't stop the bleeding. Yeah, well, we don't need um, to stop bleeding anymore because we've got those suit upgrades, haven't we? So I guess we can optimize our spending just a little bit. Okay. I don't really want all four retus. Uh, retus. Yeah, you tuss. don't really want four resuscitation packs on me to be honest because uh, I, I mean maybe we'll use them but it seems to be a lot of resuscitation packs come on you yeah there's two of these guys I remember that much and again um, bringing back around to what uh, Reva was saying about these camera angles you can't judge how far away the enemies are from you either now there should be a couple of dinos here no I guess the rules have changed 
still, that's paid almost paid for those packs that we bought. It is a little bit weird that we have to keep spamming the aim button. There we go. That was a counter. So I guess if you counter them, you like deflect them. But it's, I mean, it's not exactly clear. Sometimes they counter and sometimes they don't. I don't know. It's weird. It's really weird. Okay. Come on. There should be one here now. No? Really? There you are. There you are. Yeah, that's it. That's what you get. That's what you get. Okay, yeah, couldn't even see her aiming at that, which could actually be my fault for spamming the button too quickly. I don't know. Oh. Come on. Who are we shooting at here? I don't know what's going on. I have no idea what's being aimed at, why these shots aren't hitting anything. Oh god. Reva, I can only assume that you had a really bad time with this particular section. And I'm going to assume you had a really bad time. Yeah, see, sometimes she'll swing round and aim at things, but an awful lot of the time, she won't. It is just strange. I mean, I guess it's just, you know, late millennium sort of questionable game design. I suppose. But then they were, they flip-flopped with this series an awful lot, to be fair. I wonder, can we go to options? Key configuration. Attack, decide, sub-weapon, yeah. Auto-targeting is on. Uh, I don't know what step is. Uh, yeah, so you can only change the face button, so you can't actually change what everything else does. Great. Okay. Looks like we have another... Right, there's no enemies here, I guess. You got the city key card. Uh, okay. The pipe of the oxygen supply has been cut or chewed off from the back of his diving suit. Ah, dude, not good. Well, we don't seem to have a pipe on the back of our diving suit, so we're okay. You have found a new dino file. Uh, ah, no. Oh, that's the Nessie. Ah, yes. As uh, Jimmy would say. Near Lizard. 17 meters. Wow. Height 3 meters. Observation record. Our lifeline, the third energy reactor, is now located in the lake. Underwater. Half of the mechanics who go under for uh, pentative maintenance never come back. They probably become bait for that giant th Oh... That giant thing. They are carnivorous reptiles. With their long neck, they surface surfaced their head to breathe. Great sentence structure there. Uh, it has been reported that they have been seen attacking the uh, uh, petra petranodons from the water with their long agile necks. When attacked by them, aim for their head. They'll try to pull their prey into the water using their long necks. So when you are attacked, the best thing you can do is fire back at them. Well, yes. I mean, thank you, Mr. Fucking Captain Obvious. When you're being attacked by something, shoot back. Jesus. 
When you encounter them in the water, unfortunately, the only thing that will really hurt them is explosive artillery. Yeah, good, good, excellent. You also have to be careful of the strong water current they produce when they swim. It may be wise to avoid fighting them in the water. Yeah, okay, so red flag here. So we've got to fight one of these things underwater with heavy artillery. That's the torpedo launcher. I guess the way that we had to destroy that um, weak structural weak point was the game's way of making sure that we buy the torpedo launcher. Alright. Heavy artillery underwater. Alright, well, let's go down. Let's go face our destiny. Maybe it's a good thing we do have those resource packs. The suit does look kind of cool. Hello, friend. Been damaged by that. <laughs> yeah, let's just slowly bounce away. Come on, Nessie. Well, I guess it's trapped in here with us now. Uh, right, okay. So, torpedo launcher check. Resus packs check. If only we could use our heavy machine gun, we could kill this thing with one hit. Hey, does that mean the heavy machine gun is more powerful than the torpedo launcher? Huh. Anyway, guys, that's going to have to be left now for the next video. So, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.